In the world of software development, there's a team that often works in the shadows, their contributions sometimes overlooked. They are the testers, the guardians of quality, the last line of defense against bugs and glitches. Their work ensures that the software we use every day is reliable, functional, and user-friendly. While developers get much of the glory for creating new features, it's the test team that makes sure those features actually work as intended. Imagine a world without software testers. It would be a world of constant crashes, frustrating errors, and unreliable applications. Thankfully, we don't live in that world. In today's fast-paced technological landscape, the role of the test team has become more critical than ever before. With the increasing complexity of software and the rise of agile development, test teams face new challenges. Testing is now an ongoing process integrated into every stage of development. This means test teams need to be highly adaptable, working closely with developers and product managers. In this competitive environment, a strong test team is essential. They ensure software is thoroughly tested and meets the highest standards before it reaches users. Software testing is not for the faint of heart. It's a high-pressure environment where deadlines loom large and the stakes are always high. Testers are constantly under pressure to find bugs quickly and efficiently. Imagine the stress of knowing that a single missed bug could have significant consequences. This weight of responsibility can be immense, especially when combined with the pressure to deliver results quickly. In the world of software development, deadlines are a fact of life. But when deadlines are tight, it can create a challenging environment for test teams. The temptation to cut corners or rush through testing to meet a deadline can be strong, but it's a recipe for disaster. When deadlines loom large, it's easy for communication to break down. This can lead to misunderstandings, frustration, and ultimately, software defects slipping through the cracks. Effective communication is the lifeblood of any successful team, and test teams are no exception. When communication breaks down, silos form, and information is not shared effectively. In some organizations, there's a tendency for development and testing teams to operate in separate silos. This lack of interaction and collaboration can be detrimental to the overall success of a project. When communication is poor, it's easy for assumptions to be made, leading to defects slipping through the cracks. In an ideal world, test teams would have all the resources they need to do their job effectively. However, the reality is often far from ideal. Many test teams operate under constant resource constraints. They may be asked to do more with less, testing more software with fewer testers, tighter deadlines, and limited budgets. This can put a strain on the team, leading to burnout and a decline in the quality of testing. Resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks, is not a solo endeavor. It's woven from the threads of trust that bind a team together. Building trust starts with small, consistent actions. Transparency is another crucial building block of trust. When leaders are open and honest about challenges, it fosters a culture of psychological safety. Imagine a software development team where information flows like a rushing river. That's the power of open communication, the lifeline of any strong and resilient team. Open communication is more than just talking. It's about creating a safe space for everyone to voice their thoughts. Technology can be a powerful enabler of open communication. However, the real magic happens when there's a genuine commitment to open dialogue and a willingness to listen with empathy. In the world of software development, silos are the enemy of progress. Collaboration is the key to unlocking the full potential of a team. It's about fostering a mindset of shared ownership and collective responsibility. One effective way to promote collaboration is through cross-functional teams. When collaboration thrives, innovation flourishes and teams are better equipped to overcome challenges. In the ever-evolving landscape of software development, learning is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Resilient test teams embrace a growth mindset, constantly seeking opportunities to expand their knowledge. Creating a culture of learning starts with leadership. 
leaders who prioritize learning and development send a powerful message to their teams. Embracing new tools and technologies is another hallmark of a learning-oriented test team. Building a resilient test team requires active, engaged leadership. Leaders set the tone, cultivate the culture, and empower their teams to weather storms. One of the most important things leaders can do is to foster a sense of purpose and shared understanding. Creating a culture of psychological safety is paramount. Resilient teams are built on a foundation of trust, and leaders play a crucial role in cultivating this trust. Micromanagement is the antithesis of resilience. Resilient leaders understand the power of delegation, entrusting their team members with responsibility. Delegation is not simply about handing off tasks, it's about providing the necessary support and autonomy for team members to succeed. Empowering team members through delegation fosters a sense of ownership and accountability. It's about creating an environment where team members feel confident in their abilities and empowered to make a meaningful contribution. Recognition and reward are not just about bonuses and promotions, they are fundamental human needs. When we feel valued and appreciated, our motivation soars, our engagement deepens, and our resilience strengthens. Leaders who understand this principle have a powerful tool at their disposal for building resilient teams. Recognition doesn't have to be elaborate or expensive. A simple thank you for a job well done, a handwritten note expressing appreciation for a team member's dedication, or a public acknowledgement of a team's accomplishment can go a long way in boosting morale and reinforcing positive behaviors. When recognizing and rewarding team members, it's important to be specific and timely. Instead of generic praise, highlight specific actions or contributions that made a difference. Acknowledge accomplishments soon after they occur while the memory is still fresh. This reinforces the link between effort and recognition, further motivating team members. Rewards can take many forms, from tangible incentives like gift certificates or extra time off to opportunities for professional development, such as attending a conference or taking a training course. The key is to understand what motivates your team members and tailor rewards accordingly. Leadership is not a title, it's a behavior. Effective leaders embody resilience, they walk the talk, showing the qualities they want in their teams. This authenticity inspires team members. Facing setbacks with grace sends a powerful message. Challenges are part of life, and with perseverance, any obstacle can be overcome. Leading by example means being present and engaged. Make time for your team. Attend meetings, listen, and offer support. When team members feel valued, their resilience grows, foster trust, promote communication, and lead by example. The Phoenix Project, a novel by Gene Kim, Kevin Baer, and George Spafford, is not just a story. It's a masterclass in IT resilience disguised as a gripping tale of a company on the brink. The book follows the journey of Parts Unlimited, an organization drowning in a sea of technical debt, miscommunication, and a seemingly endless barrage of IT failures. Enter Bill Palmer, an IT veteran thrust into the unenviable role of saving the company from itself. Through Bill's eyes, we witness the chaos of siloed teams, the frustration of constant firefighting, and the demoralizing impact of a blame-driven culture. Yet, amidst the turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerges. Guided by the principles of the DevOps Handbook, Bill and his team embark on a transformative journey. They break down silos, implement agile practices, automate wherever possible, and most importantly, foster a culture of shared responsibility and continuous improvement. The Phoenix Project is a powerful reminder that resilience is not about avoiding failure. It's about learning from it, adapting to it, and emerging stronger on the other side. It's a story that resonates with anyone who has ever felt the pain of IT dysfunction and serves as a beacon of hope for building a more resilient and responsive IT organization. Google, a company synonymous with innovation, understands that quality is not an afterthought. It's the bedrock upon which groundbreaking products are built. Their testing culture, deeply embedded in their engineering DNA, is a testament to this belief. At Google, testing is not confined to a dedicated team. It's everyone's responsibility. From product managers to developers to designers, everyone plays a role in ensuring that products meet the highest standards of quality and reliability. This shared ownership fosters a culture of collective accountability, 
where everyone is invested in delivering the best possible user experience. Google's investment in automation is legendary. Their sophisticated testing infrastructure allows them to run millions of tests daily, catching bugs early in the development cycle and freeing up human testers to focus on more complex and exploratory testing. But Google's testing culture goes beyond tools and processes. It's about fostering a mindset of continuous improvement. Their engineers are encouraged to experiment, to challenge the status quo, and to constantly seek ways to improve the quality of their products. This relentless pursuit of excellence is what makes Google's testing culture a model for organizations striving to build resilient and high-performing teams. In the world of software engineering, Netflix is known for its innovative approach to building resilient systems. Their chaos engineering practice, a seemingly counterintuitive approach of deliberately injecting failures into their systems, has become legendary. The philosophy behind chaos engineering is simple yet profound. Embrace failure as an inevitability, learn from it, and build systems that can withstand even the most unexpected disruptions. By proactively injecting failures into their systems, Netflix engineers can identify weaknesses, test their assumptions, and build more robust and resilient infrastructure. Netflix's chaos engineering practices are not for the faint of heart. They involve running experiments in production environments, carefully controlled to minimize impact on users. These experiments help them understand how their systems behave under stress, identify potential points of failure, and develop mitigation strategies. The results speak for themselves. Netflix's systems are renowned for their reliability and resilience, even in the face of massive traffic spikes and unexpected outages. Their chaos engineering practices have not only improved the stability of their platform, but have also fostered a culture of experimentation, learning, and continuous improvement. Building a resilient test team is not a solitary endeavor. It's a journey best undertaken as part of a community where experiences are shared, lessons are learned, and best practices are disseminated. Fortunately, the software testing community is a vibrant and supportive one, with numerous resources available to help teams on their journey towards resilience. Online forums, industry conferences, and local meetups provide valuable platforms for connecting with fellow testers, sharing challenges, and learning from each other's experiences. These gatherings offer opportunities to hear from industry experts, discover new tools and techniques, and gain fresh perspectives on building and leading resilient teams. Sharing best practices is an essential aspect of building a resilient testing culture. Documenting lessons learned, publishing case studies, and contributing to open source projects are all ways to give back to the community and help others benefit from your team's experiences. The journey towards building a resilient test team may be challenging, but it's a journey worth taking. By embracing the principles of trust, communication, collaboration, continuous learning, and community engagement, teams can not only weather the storms, but emerge stronger, more adaptable, and better equipped to deliver high-quality software in today's ever-evolving technological landscape. In the fast-paced world of software development, a resilient test team is a necessity. They are the guardians of quality, standing firm against bugs and glitches. Building such a team is about cultivating an environment where individuals thrive and collaborate. We've explored the pressures and immense responsibility on these unsung heroes. Resilience emerges when individuals are empowered to take ownership and support one another. A resilient test team amplifies the capabilities of the entire development organization. When testers feel valued and empowered, the benefits ripple outward, software quality improves, release cycles accelerate, and user experience reaches new heights. Building a resilient test team is a continuous journey of growth, adaptation, and commitment. It's about fostering a culture where individuals feel safe to take risks and learn from mistakes, empowering team members to take ownership and strive for excellence. Leadership is key, championing resilience and creating an environment of trust and collaboration. Investing in the team's well-being is both right and smart. Embrace a growth mindset and continuous learning. Support one another, celebrate successes, and learn from setbacks. Resilience will define successful test teams in an evolving landscape.